Right, Alan, we've got these tubs out again, and you're yeah. going to show us some different applications. Yeah, well, these are a great tub for, um, in the Matrix range, these ones. these with z They've got a zip, zip up lid, perforated all over again. So they're absolutely perfect for keeping worms in or maggots in, like these ones are here, Tom. Look. Oh, look at them. Wicked's this finest. Look at them. But they're absolutely great tubs as well, as I say, especially for the summer months as well, so they keep the bait aerated a lot more. But I just want to show you something else, what I use these tubs for as well. And I, I think it's a great little idea. It's more for when you're out on the bank. A lot of time we prepare, um, when you go with commercial fishing and that, we prepare as micro pellets the night before at home, so we soak them and so they're all nice and spongy. But I just want to show you something for when you're on the bank, what you can do extra with these tubs. So I'm just going to put these maggots away. And bag them down, Tom. So we'll keep for a day or two like that. So, we've got the tub. Yeah. We've got us micros. Yeah. You're on the bank, you've drawn your peg and you need some extra micros. Because you've drawn an end peg flyer, is that what you're saying? Yeah, one of Kyle's pegs. <laughs> one of Kyle's pegs. So you get your micros, so when you're doing them on bank, you do it a bit different on the bank to at home for some reason, but obviously it's time. Because on the, at home, you get your micros in your tub like that and you just about cover them with water. Just so you can push them down like that and just about cover them and you'd leave them and let them soak all night wouldn't you like that and then tip them out next morning and they'll be all nice and fluffy but when you're on the bank what you tend to do is fill it up with water like that you usually leave them for about a minute in the water then you drain it off don't you so now you've got to mess about now getting another bowl and a drain and a like a maggot riddle or whatever but when you use these tubs you can basically get that tub now and just tip it upside down on grass and strain them. Ah, so a bait strainer all in one. Bait strainer, bait tub, pellet soaker. That's just great, isn't it? Dendrobina holder. You like them, don't you? You're impressed. I do. They're, they're great. So now look, you can just open that up now and let them finish off and dry out. And fluff them up a bit. And fluff them up a bit. So how, think, how much are they then, these tubs? Um, that one there, the four pint one, that's sixteen ninety nine, and they do a, I think they do three in the range. They do a one pinter, a four pinter, and something like a six pinter. These two bowls, they do the as I say, we've done them ones before. That's the five liter one. That's twenty pounds ninety nine. Yeah. And then they do a seven and a half liter one, which is twenty two ninety nine. Well, but all these products are they're all uh, solid bases, so yeah. they're completely waterproof on the bottom. So it don't matter if it's a bit muddy or whatever. Your bait inside ain't gonna get spoiled. But you've got your perforated lids on them, so you can get your pellets. Uh, so your dendras or your maggots or whatever aren't gonna die. They're gonna keep keep breathing. But I just think they're a great product. These and something that I'll be using a lot more of. Very, very versatile.